But yeah, as for as for Valor, like he, like the dude uh, plays uh, Cloud and Double sometimes, but like he's he's a a true blue Sonic man, which is you know it's a good time to be be a guy who likes Sonic with uh, whatever that's called. What's the game? Sonic Mania. Dude, Sonic Mania was such a good game. Big fan. And then right. Sonic Mania Plus coming out. Is it really? Yeah, they're adding uh, Ray and Mighty. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Although Valor did in doubles, he did pull out a Corrin. He pulled out a Corrin? Yeah. Well, um, that's, like, I have to applaud him on that. I, I play Corrin, and so that's, uh, you know, good on him. But, uh, okay, so that looks like something that could maybe jab lock, depending on what hit you got. And I, I'm very interested to see if that's actually a thing. Because that, uh, that could have been neat. Like, the damage is still good, right? And that's another thing. Like, Sonic, you know, the reason that he's good is because he can get far enough away from you where the end lag on his moves don't really matter. Yeah. And so, uh, Bestness is doing something pretty uh, pretty nice every once in a while. He, he's just reminding him that he can follow him with PK Thunder and just uh, punish that. And... He's not doing it all the time, because if he did, he'd absolutely get punished. But yeah. it, it's, it's a nice little reminder, like, yeah, I might be across the stage. I'm not the only person who can play. Like, Sonic's not the only character who can, you know, punish you across the stage. And Charizard with Flare Blitz, but uh, that's generally not a good idea. Yeah. And Unless I'm you're breaking shields with it, which is fun as hell. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yep, he's doing it again. Uh... And then it also like brings him more towards Best Ness too. Yes, yeah, because he'll he'll try to gravitate in just in case uh, Best Ness misses it. Uh, oh, that was all right. I was not expecting that to kill. I'd... Neither was I. I, I think uh, like I've always in my head just thought that Sonic Up Smash is kind of boneless. Like it'll yeah, it'll hit you right, but like it's not really. Uh... <laughs> and. Uh, Valor uh, showing that uh, he does know how to DI, but uh, you know, sometimes you just get fared off stage and he'll die anyways. So, uh, back to more or less an even game. And this is an interesting thing. This is, uh, I think this will, uh, again, I need to read up on, on Sonic, but one of, uh, one of his options is a, uh, is either the side B or down B you can shield out of, but the other one you can't. And so, uh, by by challenging it with PK fire and a few in other moves that uh, uh, sorry lost my train of thought there uh, in other moves that like don't really require a lot of commitment from him he can uh, he can make it so that uh, Valor has to use the one that he can shield out of that was a really nice shield pushback uh, might have been a little different of a story had he uh, oh that was very nice I think it looks like side B is the one that he can shield out of. That, that is, uh, you know, uh oh, he might just be dead. Yeah, yep, just got that hundred percent dead. Uh, forward smash, dude. Sonic's forward smash is a good move. In case anybody was curious, that just kind of picks you up and uh, gets you. Yeah. Reminder that in Brawl, with that uh, win animation from Sonic. Yeah. It was just a picture of a Chaos Emerald. Oh no way! No, like no Sonic. Well, well, like it was Sonic too, but like it wasn't a 3D model. Oh, it was just like a JPEG they just like stuck on there. Pretty much. <laughs> like you'd have to look hard enough to tell, but you could tell. But in this game, that's they funny. spliced it up a little bit, by... dude. That's that's what I wanted out of my uh, my new Smash game. Get these uh, 3D windscreens. Absolutely. That that's how you know that you've upgraded, man. Well, and like it didn't like I think I, don't, I think you could tell because it didn't move at all. But in this game, it moves a little bit and it's 3D. Ah, well there you go. So they they knew what they were doing with this game. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, Best Nest is predicting a few too many spin dashes, which you know like to be fair like. If you're gonna predict one thing out of Sonic, it might as well be the spin dash. Well, then it can also like, it can also scare him into. Doing oh, absolutely. More. Yeah, and he's he's running a lot of dash attacks as well. Oh, that's too bad. It almost hit him. So, good spacing on the part of Valor for sure. Uh, that's a. Uh, 
That's a, that's like minus one set count for each of them because nobody went for the balloon though. That's that's too bad. And that's that's another problem. Like it doesn't seem like uh, Bestness is really confident in edge guarding Sonic because Sonic has a like there's no hitbox on it, right? But ooh, duffed. Uh, like there's no hitbox on the recovery, but it's still pretty darn good. And so, well, and then he can attack out of it. That is also nice. Which, if you get hit with a back air off stage, yeah, you're like, you're absolutely done. That was a yeah. good down smash. Especially if you're Ness. Like, you better have your double jump prepared. Or yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at how <laughs> look how sad his little fox trots are. They they actually take him nowhere. That's unfortunate. Like, you know, got to respect him for you know. Optimizing the movement, and that's actually something that I am a big fan of uh, Best Ness, or a reason that I'm a big fan of Best Ness, is he, his, his uh, movement with Ness is pretty nutty. And he mixes it up, like, yeah. very well. And one thing I've noticed is, like, when he was against the, uh, against Calculus, he wouldn't really use his down B in the air much, uh -huh. at all. Well, yeah, but now, but now that he doesn't have to worry about a constant up B threat, he, he's feeling more comfortable to, to mix up his landings, because Bayo doesn't really punish her landing, she just juggles you for years and that's kind of the how it works oh that was cool that was you followed him perfectly but uh yeah since sonic is all about punishing your landings he, he he's getting a lot more mileage out of the stall and then like yeah sonic is also more like ground-based punish for his oh absolutely will, you know if it's, you're in the uh, air up b to <laughs> side b to whatever Bayonet is more of an everywhere uh yeah. punish oh is he dead? Alright. Is he still dead? Oh, that was a good match. And then, and that's the other thing, is like, even if you're going for good movement options with your character, uh, like, you can still get predictable with it, and I don't think uh, Best Ness really falls into that trap, because he's still, he's, uh, he's not afraid to go for the real degenerate Ness stuff, you know? Yeah. He, he'll get his hands dirty, but he'll also be just clean enough. Oh, yeah. Clean enough that you'll comment on it, but, uh, yeah. Nice. Oh. oh. And then he's ready for anybody who might shoot him with something. That's good. I was not expecting that up air to hit. Yeah. It was, a, it was a good little match. Dude, the, the blue skin is really working out for him now, so that's, uh, that's good. And then there's poor Sonic, who has nothing but blue to use. It's just like... Are you gonna go for a navy or a cerulean today? Like, but his bracelets chain. Oh yeah, I forgot. Excuse me. I, there, there are a lot of uh, complex layers to uh, Sonic skins. Also, his uh, his shoe colors change. Oh yeah, that's, that's a, you know that, that's pretty expensive. Like, and it, you know, Sonic has some of the best looking shoes in this game. Like, to be fair, like. It, Ness like straight up got those out of like the the baby aisle. Like those those are like little booties that you put on a like six year or not six year old, like a Three like one and a half year old. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but Sonic like he he Ash definitely went to Foot Locker for for his stuff. And then Pac Man falls in the same trap as Sonic. But... Yeah, but then he has to go to like uh, what is it like Bed Bath and Beyond to get uh, uh to get like the oven mitts that he uses too. So oh, like that's a good point. He, he's sparing no expense, and I, I appreciate that out of a lot of characters. Oh, that was clever. Yeah, and so if uh, if Bestness has his uh, if Bestness has his uh, shoot, why can't I think uh, a decent amount of shield pressure, then that becomes like super scary for Valor because uh, you can 100% break sh people's shields off of that. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't see it like often like on stream because generally they have they show uh, best nest playing people who don't let their shield get to that point. But I, I have seen him, and you know that that's a good example of the super degenerate nest stuff, right? He he will pull that off in like out of state brackets all the friggin' time, and it's super funny. Well, even like even if it doesn't work against you know like top U top players. Yeah. Just the thought of that happening. No, the threat is super exactly. palpable, and that's why it's why it's a good option. Plus, like if he just hits himself on the ground with it, like 
what what's everyone gonna do? Like, well, you, yeah. you still have to it, you still have to make a read. Uh, it's a, it's not even 50-50, It's a thirty thirty thirty. Well, so like it becomes a fifty fifty. He's either gonna go at you, or he's gonna hit the ground. If he hits the ground, you can jab. Oh him, yeah, yeah. Or you have to punish his get up. Uh huh. Yeah. So Sorry, I, I didn't specify. I was talking about the uh, the like where after he hits himself into the ground, he can have yeah. the normal get up. And but yeah, so and that makes it even more you know like good basically. Yeah. So it turns it from a fifty fifty to like a one and third. <laughs> so more or less, yeah. Uh, missed the. Looks like he was going for the auto cancel on the dare. He missed it. And there's there's that cute stall again. Valor uh, getting out of the combo, but now he's stuck in his uh, side B without any momentum, and so Best Nest gets him for it. Yep. Alright, let's see... Mm. Let's see what he does here. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that is a big problem in, in this matchup too, is like your... Valor doesn't really have to commit to a whole lot, whereas if uh, Best Nest really wants to pressure, he has to throw out a fair, which if... Uh, you know, not terribly safe on shield. Like, it's relatively fast, but... Oh. And that would have been neat. Valor but, yeah. can kind of just hit, hit him from under. Yeah, you just kind of... Valor can just kind of go to, go to town, uh, mix up his uh, different spin dashes, oh. and that was a DI mix-up that was pretty good. What time is it? I might have to dip. Yeah, my wife gets off work in like half an hour. Alrighty, well... See y'all later. Uh, All right. Or See ya. Any anybody who might have been in the chat, and also uh, my boy. Uh, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to check the Rafflecopter. Dude, Rafflecopter. It's good to good to hang out with you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Best nice putting on the heavy pressure. Bring this 76%. Good casting. Well done. Good casting. Well done. Alright. Alright. You got fusion. Uh, running stream, and I'm going to be casting with Rafflecopter. Alright, sweet. Uh, this has been such a good set, actually. Even though, it, even though these players approach each other slowly, they're so, so aware of each other's options, and all their microspacing and little jumps around it, it's so smart. Well, they're both like, they're both kind of baiting each other's movement out to try to like, get a feel of what the other one's going to do. Right. But they know what they can do, so they try to figure out the best way to approach all their options. Right, but like, you know, you see that dash attack, and he gets instantly punished for it, but it's supposed to be a call out on Valor's little run turnaround castles. So. Well, yeah, it's like, some it, of it is just very psychological, too. They, right. They do things that are unsafe as like a, hey, don't try this again, or you're going to get hit. Exactly. Guess with an up air to take the first stock. And since we are on town, the general way this went, I think I actually mentioned this in doubles, too. Uh, whenever these guys play, generally, best nests, when he has a lead, he's going to hang by the corner. He's going to hang by that corner platform on town. And he's going to uh, force Sonic to approach, which is his worst, especially on platforms that are in the air. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, because one thing I've noticed about how Valor sort of plays is he'll, he'll just wait to... He'll just sit there, scare you, and wait for you to just make a move. The instant you make a move, he's going to punish it. Right. But, uh, you know, when you have the lead over Valor, that's not a playstyle that can work. Because exactly. there's no reason to make that move. And now right there, he just perfect pivoted to dodge his uh, grab. Right. Impressive stuff by Rest, nice. 
So you see, there's no- oh wow, okay, I was about to say there's no more Randy Dash attacks and neutral airs coming out from Best Nuts, but uh, you know, he's keeping Valor on his toes as much as he's keeping me on my toes. Alright, Valor lands the uh, back throw at 69%. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, that was a strange dash attack. It's not a common option. From right now, I'm actually a little surprised by Best Nuts' aggressiveness. Normally he plays almost for timeout in this type of situation, but he's pushing his advantage. Definitely making Valor guess if he's going to push, if he's going to stall, if he's going to... Yeah, exactly. It's interesting because you actually see Valor starting to run away even though he has, you know, the deficit. Because he's just unsure. Well, because Vesnes has been throwing a lot more nares, which yeah. he can't exactly punish those with most of his, with a decent chunk of his aerials, so he's trying to figure out the way to get in. Right. That was a poor dash attack. A little greedy. Well, he goes for the... That should be it. Yeah. yeah. And that's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, man. Best Ness going to two game fives in a row. Yeah, we'll see if he can pull through. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of endurance to get through. You got to respect that about him as a player. It's one of, like... When people talk about why Best Ness is good, you have to understand he's playing a mid tier into all these amazing characters. Yeah, versus essentially just top tiers. I mean, Sonic's like top to high tier. Bayonetta is the best character. Exactly, and he's. And for him to have the mental fortitude to just work with that. And then to just play on, you know, in front of everyone, to be regarded as the best in Utah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure on him. Well, exactly. Sometimes it's not about, like, just skill alone. It's like, how do you deal with tournament nerves? How do you deal with, you know, playing people like Valor and people who kind of just play more patient, play a little dirty. It looks like a really, really solid just back and forth game at the moment. And it, of course it will be, you know, it's game five. It's not a game five if it isn't close. Well, exactly. They're, both players are probably going to be playing a lot safer. Right. Especially Val Valor because he no longer has that game advantage. They're both even. It's all or nothing at this point. Right. I'm actually a little surprised that Ness is going Ness because, you know, I mean, he went Ness the whole set. But. He's been counterpicking Sheik a lot against Valor. And Valor doesn't have an answer for that. He's been playing Doc recently because he feels he can't do it with Sonic. He's been playing who? Dr. Mario. Oh, jeez. He actually, he took a set once, but he feels it just, it's way harder with Sonic. I think that's why neither of them switch because... <gasps> oh, oh, reliable! All right, so for those of you who don't know, we have a Diddy main in state. Shout out to BBW. Huh. He's talking about how consistent Sonic is at killing and cited up air, spring up air as one of them. Yeah. So, uh, Valor, me, a couple other people joke around and call it the old reliable. Because it's not very reliable. Hmm. But when it works, it works. Yeah, when it works, it sure does work. And that gives uh, Valor quite a big lead, actually. Forcing Ness to try and catch up. And if he plays his cards right, this is they're going to be a really hard wall to overcome. Yeah. Like, just like, it's almost lapped in percents. Okay, right. back air. All right, evening out the stocks, but yeah. Best Ness has to close out like 80% before back 
back throw can even kill. Yeah. Ballard taking that second, going to take a breather, reassess, evaluate what went wrong. That's not going to point the conversion. Yeah, 31%. I feel like Bestness has such good conversions with Ness, you know? He's actually really scary when you get hit. Yeah. One thing I've noticed is that Bestness on this stock has been... He, he shield, he's shielding a lot more than he was whenever he either has an advantage or it's more even. Yeah. You can definitely tell he's more... playing a lot safer. Oh, and that's the up air. That's set. Yeah. Good stuff to Valor. He's going to be sitting in grants. Uh, and Best Mess gets sent to lose his battle. 